Welcome to another Quarantine Cup playoffs. I'm sitting on the third in the I guess the second place spot going up against Minion Pawn. On the other side we have Shanahan versus Chorus. I don't know where Minion Pawn is now. They just finished the, like the last game, so they're presumably around, but they haven't responded yet to the calls, so I maybe started this prematurely. Anyway, we're uh, playing this week with the friendly mix. So we've got a bit of a custom kingdom here this time. Um, looks like it's a little low on actions, but has reasonable amount of draw and such, so. Oh, there many upon is, okay. All right. Oh, and we have the coin as well. This will be a weird one for sure because, yeah, this is just going to be a weird one. You don't really want to play coin very much, but I think it's okay, one. I think one is fine. I feel like I want two threes here, so I'm going to take um, Hermit something. That's sort of interesting to exile the Destrier. I don't actually understand it particularly. It doesn't seem... I don't know. It's not like I'm buying Destriers anytime soon. I'm not going to have $6. I guess if I hit 5 on well, that's like a Hermit being a Copper. Yeah, that's not... I mean, it's possible. It's not uh, usually likely. I guess I'll take the Goat Herd. <clears throat> this will probably be an invest myself. I can I can see investing. Like It's not that I think investing is weird. Um, particularly with Hermit, you have a very uh, good reason to invest on some turns. I just don't really understand the Destrier. Um, that's all. I guess we might as well lose the lucky coin here. It's not like... I don't, I don't get this. It's, this is sort of... I mean, I guess if you do it and then eventually you hit six and then you get three Destriers, that's sort of okay. I mean, that's fine, too. I guess that's probably the idea behind it. Um, whether that's going to make up for not trashing your coppers, I don't really know. Um... But I guess we'll see <laughs> at some point. Um, I'm almost even thinking about second goat herd, though that may be too much. Can just be border guard as well. Um, there's not like a super good reason to keep the estates over copper. So the, what am I buying? I'm probably just buying a peddler now. Could buy gold. Um. Oh, I forgot the Hermit itself got trashed. I, I totally whiffed on them being labs. And that made that made pretty good sense, I think. Um, 
I had comp completely, completely missed that that was what was going on there. Um, I do need to figure out a way to hit nine, either via peddlers or a gold here. Maybe a gold into peddlers is reasonable. Um, the other option, of course, is just to get do another hermit invest. I mean, if you think you're gonna buy a peddler eventually, then it's a pretty reasonable get to keep doing that and hope you get the madman draws, and then you trash a lot of cards, which is always great. So, uh, that's probably reasonable. I mean, at some point, we don't even want the hermit, I guess. So there is that, too, to consider. So as long as you can do invests, it's, it's sort of appealing to keep doing them. Um, at least for a little bit. Eventually, you probably swap... Um, you know, swap to, like, a market or a farmer's market or something. I'm just quite a bit ahead on the trashing. Um, which is cool. We could go to Farmer's Market now. Um, My silver's actually been pretty good uh, as far as that all goes. Well, this was a double trash again, so I don't even need to play the Mad Men. Oh no, it wasn't a double trash. He bought a goat herd. Oh, I had gotten the... I see. That makes sense. I guess I can still wait and see if I draw the um, farmer's market or not. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, though that's not enough money, I guess. I guess I need the silver. To make use of the buy anyway. This is unclear to me. Um, this particular play, but it's okay. I guess if I get gold and, well, I can't get gold and peddler. Um, I guess I put, could have invested peddler again there. Would have been okay. I guess I'll b go ahead and blow these up. Um, we're just doing platinum. There's not really a reason not to trash this. Both of these will have nine still. Um, and I don't have to keep buying peddlers. Maybe even that one wasn't super good, but this is just like a huge difference in trashing, right? Like massive. And the, they don't actually have, they they like totally should have discarded the Destriers when they got one. Um, Because this is just not, not really close. Maybe I'm like talking too uh too confidently and it'll come back to bite me. Um 
It's probably fine to keep the silver regardless. <clears throat> Do they trash a card? Oh, this is even a double. Okay, so we can... I mean, this is like Peddler Farmer's Market, but we can do it like this, and then maybe it was better to lose the guard. But if, they, if they're trashing cards, then of course this is still quite, quite, quite good. Um, I don't know how much I need or ought to build here, actually. Because, <clears throat> like, I can get another Platinum and, say, a Border Guard. Yeah, they still, they should totally be pulling those off. I mean, at some point, you have to. <clears throat> Maybe you should have trashed Goat Herd there. I could, <clears throat> I could believe that easily. I think they have Mad Men in hand now, so it's not really giving them draw. But anyway, I missed it, so. Um. There's also, like, at some point, I guess I have to be sort of who cares and let the Destriers go, but. I still didn't even really do anything that turn. So I can take the peddler. Uh, I mean, I basically have everything in hand that I would probably want anyway. I don't know exactly how many stop cards they trash. Yeah, they trashed a car, so we'll try and find a little more of this stuff and um trash the other goat herd and then just do colony. Um it's not not like totally clear whether a peddler is good or a border guard's better. I guess the thing is they don't really have money, so it's kind of nice to deny a peddler. This is a terrible draw. Um, it can still hit colony, but this is an ex and and now it's pretty likely to hit colony. But the um, it was a pretty rotten draw. I don't think it was gonna make me lose, but <laughs> if you could stack my deck, that's about as bad as it could could look. Not quite, but close. Um, all right. Well, I don't know. I, I I was not a fan of a lot of those invest decisions. Um, whether that. Okay. Guess. Uh, guess course one. So that's good for me in that I get to continue to be first player. And this will just be our finals. We have Academy, though we didn't roll any of the horses. 
Um, there's Border Village, which pumps it up a little bit, but there's not. It's a bit of a strange board because all you have is Embassy. And then I guess Groundskeeper is enough of the all VP. It's, it's a bit of a slow board, to be honest, despite having like Academy. Um, this is pretty bad draw. <laughs> and, uh, there's not really any other way to put it. This is okay, though. As long as we hit five once, it's fine. It was just not, this is not the dream draw, of course, but it'll work. Mm, I think I'll just go with not taking the curses yet. Since we got the silver off, I would rather just wait and see, like, if I draw a copper here, then I'll trash the estate. You know, I can be a little bit opportunistic about deciding to go for the border village. It's not even clear you'll ever get Academy because the only terminals, you don't have so many terminals that you want to play here. And you're going to have a lot of, quite a few villages anyway. So, um, doesn't look super needful uh, at the beginning for sure. Okay, this is nice. This is nice too. Um, some point we're gonna need buy, but I think we can probably just take a villa along with buying something else and be relatively happy with that. It's not like unreasonable to say just take a messenger straight up i mean at some point the silvers are um doing you a little bit of harm the gifting the silvers i mean the, it's always been friendly this whole time right i mean the silvers have been very useful for both of us but um so hopefully that one pays off for me into getting villa plus something else as far as to hit the buy something nice um well this is a little awkward but we could i don't know exactly how many coppers are left we could try and um this 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 well no, it'll be fine it should be okay Maybe it's not great. It's just a six card. That's all right. We can have one stop card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's totally fine. I guess we could have done Villa gain and play, and then that's the only thing. I didn't even try to like look for that. It's very possible that something like that was uh, was a little bit of a nicer play to do, but. Anyway, uh, it takes a it takes a some amount of time to like <laughs> figure out that that's the play anyway, so not a huge deal. Um, <clears throat> uh, So you can do Villa, uh, 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 uh. I guess we won't quite be able to afford that. I was going to say we could almost get double Border Village, and that wouldn't even be good, so who cares? Um, I'm going to take this. We're going to take a board. Yeah, Academy is looking more and more useless as we go along here. Bishop is a little bit tempting for sure. And maybe we'll take the bishop.
because we can lose the hideouts too once we've trashed it. Like this turn, we trash two coppers, play bishop, trash us. I mean, maybe we don't draw it all, but something like that. And then, um, and then we can lose the hideouts over a couple turns. We have to be a little careful about pileouts here in a bit. And then there's also cities are going to probably activate, though maybe not for very many turns. Yeah, the thing now is like if you spend your money buying embassies and then if in the end like you buy, I don't know, you buy the last embassy and then your opponent buys cities, like they get the better they get the better end of that as long as they have a few. Um as long as they have a few, it's fine for them. I may not have quite as much and size as I want here. So we may have a little bit of a awkward. Oh, that's a lot more stop. I didn't really count the shuffle. <laughs> Probably should have. Um, this would be a two carter. We could have certainly there been looking to do maybe some villa gain and play. Anyway, that was not the cleanest thing of all time. Um, again, we're at a point where it's like, do we need the... It's not especially nice. I mean, we could go Villa 5, I guess, but that's not. It's pretty whatever. Um, we still don't have... Animal Fair would be a nice source of money eventually, though we don't have those activated yet. All right, I got pretty lucky. There was definitely a shot of getting me getting punished there because it had two stop bars, but we just have embassy, so it's fine. <clears throat> um. This is, that's, that's not the super, that's not a real friendly timing for the embassy there for them. I don't know if it's going to hurt them too much, but they can still villa plus six, but that's not even that good. I like multiple villas isn't really that exciting here, to be honest. I guess they wanted to, they could try to like messenger bishops or something, but I don't think that's going to actually hurt me um i do feel like if you can get the when the groundskeeper is pretty big here then you should be in good shape um or at least because we really don't i mean we actually don't have a three pile that's all that threatening because People don't have to necessarily take more embassies. We have a lot of cantrips. The decks don't really require them. Um, the border villages will run, but the, the other stuff isn't so so risky. I could definitely just stop here pretty easily. Again, I'm getting. I'm getting lucky draws. I don't think there's really any other way to to describe it in this instance. The last card is a hideout, so we can do this. It's a little friendly to me. Um,
I don't know if there will be a point where the... There's an easy way to do the... Animal fair. I maybe should... I'm still... I'm still underdrawing, I'm just getting, or I'm still underdrawing, I'm just getting lucky. <laughs> uh, whereas they're kind of overdrawn in a way that isn't really giving them as much to do. The only thing I'm doing is removing stop cards from my deck and just buying cantrips, so my deck draw is technically going up. But it's based on three cards, right? So I have to see one of, I have to see one of them in my opening hand or it doesn't work. Or, you know, find it off my opening hand or it doesn't work. A glass turn was extremely lucky that I drew through. There's no other way to put it. All right, so if they get uh, an animal fair. Again, we're not... The animal fairs are kind of tough because it's money, but it's not by... Oh. Um... See, this is the tough one because I can stop here. Uh, how much do I have exactly? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not ideal, though it does let me still just get another. Um, the, 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 the amount that would be nice to actually get. I guess that wouldn't really work. I kind of think I'm going to just stop because playing the hideout, I don't know. The silvers are really good and I'm going to have to trash a silver. It's that or I, yeah, I think this is totally fine. Um, I could um, start messengering them hideouts. Something I could do. And they lose a silver. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's rough. Their deck is actually just kind of a mess, which is weird. They trash, and that's, that's rough. Um, so I'm going to get to six groundskeepers for sure. There's no question there. We may want to play out the embassies pretty early and just have the cantrips. <clears throat> um, I mean, as long as we have 10, it's fine pretty much no matter what. It's not a huge deal. But a lot of these are groundskeepers and such. Um, So I'm not going to take Border Village because that'll give them by. Um...
They can probably go like border village building at that. I may. <clears throat> the bishop is still pretty good even while I green, since we we got the groundskeepers anyway. I do wish I had a little more draw. I feel like maybe they wouldn't have money to use it, but I feel like you can pile out and get back to your buy phase and get a buy out of your animal fare here. Whether that's worth it, I'm not sure, but <clears throat> they should be able to manage that and get it even two buys out of it. So I'm, I would expect an undo, but okay, they're keeping it. Um, Cause like you could have gone border guard groundskeeper and then got a villa and you could have now maybe you can't use the buy so maybe you didn't want it but <clears throat> um i guess we can probably trash one of the border villages to the bishop this time Or that's that's a possible target. Um, we can also just try everything and not and just trash the bishop into um, Or just not play the bishop, I guess, is what I mean. I don't know how much money I have. I haven't been adding money, which isn't maybe ideal. You could possibly lose the patron to an animal fair. Um, I'm not really sure. It's pretty interesting. What do I have? Twelve dollars? Third twelve thirty. Oh no, I have enough. That's good. Okay, this should work fine. Um because the city is uh the city is by and drawn every it's it's all it's all happy times with the city. And then the t hopefully the 22 points is enough that they're not doing any funny business. Um, Because I technically will have enough to pile out the embassies now. I don't know why I say technically, like that's some some <laughs> meaningful distinction there. I, I would have enough money to do the embassies. I just have to bishop something. I had $13, bishop's another dollar, the city's a dollar, so I do have 15 bucks. So they have to catch me in points here or they just lose. Or I could like bottom, well, I'd have to bottom deck some stuff. And I don't even know, like, what they can buy that catches me in points may also expose them to pile outs. Like, if they have to buy enough estates, that that's a thing. <clears throat> because they have four groundskeepers, so that's the estates are like five points. So their max money is, or their max score here is like 25 if they take five estates, but. 
it would be awesome if they find a win here. I mean, that would be super impressive. And maybe there is one with gain and play on animal fairs. I just don't know if they have the draw for it. Buying the province now would suggest they're not even trying it because... It doesn't... Uh, doesn't do anything if they don't. <clears throat> I could still bottom deck draw. That's still a real thing that can happen. Um, so they didn't go for the points. So they leave, leave me the win. They're they're playing for death. They, I think there was a way to get more points, but maybe maybe not, and it would expose an estate pilot in that case. Um I have to be able to... Oh, I can always uh, bishop the province. That's right. I was going to say, I have to have something to bishop, but it can be the province. Uh, there is maybe an awkward possible draw, right? We don't have enough cantrips at the end. Maybe I'm wrong, but um. I don't want to mess it up. You know? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, it was exact. I thought it was exact, but I wasn't totally sure. It's even exact points because I have to trash the province. That's funny, actually. I didn't actually think that the... That, that's wild. They could have done different things to make that impossible, I'm pretty sure. They could have scored a little more, maybe. But uh, Okay. I was probably in a decent position anyway but well that was a really interesting game uh thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you all later thanks everyone who came out and played um take it easy